Hi Libra, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We're going to do the read for the week of the second week of March 2022 for the sign of Libra. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And still, I'm new. I'm new to the YouTube platform, so I'm trying to raise my numbers. And if you like the read, like I said, hope, hopefully you'll stick around um, and go on this journey with me, my spirit tribe. <laughs> So what's happening to Libra the first week, the first week, or second week, sorry, second week of March 2022. Spirit guys, guardian angels, ancestors, thank you. And we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. It's very emotional, maybe. An emotional situation, loveless situation. The cup is run dry. Maybe your cup's dry. Maybe you get giving too much of yourself, Libra. Ace of Cups in reverse, please, for the sign of Libra, second week of March. Thank you. Somebody's got to heal, rest, take some time out from family, from a relationship, maybe, a commitment. Time, you need some time off. Why is the four swords in the upright and the four of wands in the upright? Two fours, that's the, the number of the angels. Bear that in mind if this resonates. This is for you then. There's a the moon card here. There's a lot of mystery, maybe. Um, maybe some lies and secrets, secrets and lies, some fear, maybe illusions. Somebody's watching secretly, secretly watching someone online. Ah, see where this goes. Moon in the upright, please, for the sign of Libra. Thank you. Somebody wants to reconcile. It could be a reconciliation, a secret reconciliation, or something to do with children. The past, maybe. There's the yeah, lovers in reverse. There's been a separation, a poor decision making here. Um, one side of relationship. The three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Mm. Lovers in the reverse, please. Why is lovers in the reverse? Thank you. A new passionate opportunity coming here. Lying, cheating, and or stealing. Seven of Swords. Shady, shady character. Shade of business. Ten of, ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. Somebody's letting this bullshit go. Moving on. Bigger and better, right? Good for you, Libra, if that's you. If it resonates. Seven of Swords in the upright for the sign of Libra. Second, second week of March 2022. Well, okay, that went right across my face. So we have, ooh, somebody's mad. <laughs> They're pissed. Um, jealous, vindictive, spiteful, angry, unpredictable, maybe. Yeah, showing up at their work, eight of pentacles, maybe. Wow. But they lied about their work. I don't know. Let's see. Why is the Queen of Swords in the reverse for the side of Libra? Swords in reverse. Thank you, Spirit. Somebody's mad that somebody's victorious. They gave, they got some victory here, some success, reward, recognition, um, fame, maybe. This is a, also can mean a victory after a battle. Have you been involved in a battle, Libra? Bottom of the deck, three of wands in reverse. Something's not moving ahead. It's not moving forward. Um, somebody's not willing to change. They're not. They're never going to change. Um, they keep going back to. Whatever it is that's, you know, I don't know if you can see that. Okay. You keep going back to whatever this problem is. Um, there's no future with this person. There's no, the future is bleak. There's no foresight with this person. No love. No love. There's a separation here. One-sided relationship based probably on, on lust, not love. Um, somebody's taking some time out to contemplate, to heal, to, to, to pray, to meditate, to rest, thinking about what actions, what, what action is he or she's going to take next. Um, yeah, so th there's a relationship, a home, a business, uh, some sort of foundation, some sort of s stability here. Somebody lied about, there's lying, cheating, there's a, a lot of shit that's... A lot of shady business here. Trying to get away with something. That, or maybe they thought they got away with something. There's all lies and secrets here. Yep. Somebody's afraid here. Because the Queen of Swords is freaking out here. She's pissed. She 
she's been, she's going to take revenge. She's going to cut some, if there's nuts involved, some nuts off, I think. Yeah, something. Somebody wants to reconcile or somebody, something about children, maybe. There's reconciliation, something about the past. There's victory, reward. Victory, success, reward, recognition. Vic there's there's uh, success after the battle. So let's get, let's clarify this a little bit, right? We have somebody got replaced. Somebody lost their position. Could be somewhere at work. Somebody's very emotional here. They did that to prove a point to someone. And they just added more burdens, I think. So somebody was replaced. <laughs> if it's a relationship, it's like, yeah, somebody wants to play yo-yo with people's lives. Well, I don't like people like that. Sorry, Libra. We're not fucking toys, right? Four swords in the upright, ace of wands in the upright. It's kind of Libra. Thank you. Yeah, this is, uh, King of Cups in reverse. He tends to be very manipulative to get what he wants. He's a drinker, potential drinker. Yeah, emotionally unavailable. Got multiple partners here, par multiple options. There we go. He found the culprit, right? Somebody found some um, evidence of this, some sort of message or receipts or something. Yeah. Now they're trying to decide whether it's worth it or not. They put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, money, e effort, and energy into this, or love. There's a, they actually live together. They're married. I don't know, but there's this, there's this stability here. There's there's a, a higher level of of uh, commitment here, and it was all bullshit. All full of lies and cheating. And... Why, is, for, why is the four of wands in the upright? And the Seven of Swords in the Upright for the Sun of Libra, second week of March 2022, please. Spirit, yeah, somebody's worried. They're stuck in their head. They're overthinking. They're anxious. They're not sleeping. They're really stressed. They're holding back. They're really, really worried. They're holding back, leaving. Or they're trying to... They're worried. Maybe they're worried somebody's going to hold them back, try to hold them back from leaving. Why is the Moon in the Upright? And the Queen of Swords in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This... Queen of Pentacles in reverse tends to be superficial, materialistic, greedy, uh, clingy, codependent, can't do anything for yourself. Um, there's trust issues here, very suspicious, um, could, be a, could be unfaithful and very jealous. Um, there's a lot of lies and secrets here, a lot of illusions. She's pissed because he's dropping her. Ending a third-party situation, ending a contract or something. Maybe, maybe he's he's renting her an apartment. Who knows? You know, but he's he's ending a contract with this per person, and they're pissed. They're they're getting aggressive, right? Strengthen the upright. Getting aggressive, but it's not going to happen. It's not going to get them anywhere. Now they're grieving and regretting the five of cups in reverse. Feeling sorry for themselves, right? Crying over spilt milk. My guess is she was the mis mistress. She took the, this person away from their original partner, or their long-term partner. And now the, the person wants to go back to the long-term partner that he dumped or she dumped. And he's dumping uh, the mistress here. And she's freaking out. You get, you get what you give. That's all I can say. You lose them how you, yeah, you, had, you, lose them how you got them. That's how that's the old saying, right? Six of cups in the upright and six of wands in the upright. Six six. And if that works, if that resonates with anybody, four four six six. Wow, the numbers are just popping, right? Six of cups, six of wands. Why is this here, please? Thank you. Yeah, somebody's trying to prove a point. It's an ending. It's a ten here. So that's an ending. That's a completion. The cycle's complete here. Bottom of the deck. There's a parting of ways. Somebody's not happy. Yeah, it's so quick communication, quick action. So this is happening very, very quickly. And this person's fit to be tied. So it's proven a point. I can't leave it here, Libra. I gotta add some more. Let's see what's going on. What are they trying to prove? Okay.
can't remember if I picked that up, right that up or not, but it's a Queen of Wands. I'm trying to prove somebody has confidence here. Take action. Doesn't need, they, they, they're not needed here. The, the Queen of Wands typically is beautiful, charming, very attractive. Uh, doesn't need anybody. She's very independent. Goes her own way. She's very confident, right? Trying to prove a point. Somebody's confident here, but they're lying. Not very, they're not feeling conf confident. They're lying. Because they're not working. It's not working. Oh, she's trying to tempt him into bed. Trying to... <laughs> she's trying to get him back into bed. Wow. She's trying everything. It's not working. Oh, boy. That's got to hurt. That's got to sting the old ego. Right? Eight of Bed and calls in. Reverse. One more for Libra. Thank you. Yeah. It's not working. He wants the other one. The one that's loving and nurturing. Emotionally well balanced, you know? Compassionate. That's the one he or she wants, right? So he's, they're taking some sort of action. There's calm. That's, um, this, it could be like a, a conscious awareness, some sort of action. He's trying to manifest this woman or person. It doesn't have to be a woman, it could be a man with the energy of the Queen of Cups, but trying to manifest this person back, back into their lives. So, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors of White Light, why is the Three of Wands in the reverse in the position of what's uh, the underlying energy? Why is the Three of Wands in reverse here? Yeah, it's not going anywhere. It's not moving forward. Somebody's pissed, really pissy, holding back. They're angry. There's communication and action coming here. Somebody's opening their eyes. They're seeing the truth. Seeing the truth. This person's very disrespectful talking shit so yeah it's a good thing to get away there's a lot of fighting here a lot of competition i don't know a lot of drama this person brings good thing i mean if you're dealing with it libra good thing you're out of it and if you're the other anyways you don't need that shit in your life so let's get a closing out this read let's get a an oracle read from the wisdom of the oracle deck get spirits advice for this for libra second week of march thank you Clean it up. Number 21, that's the world card, uh, the number of the world card in tarot. It's over. Clean it up. So let's see for Libra. 21. Where are you, 21? The essential meaning getting to the core of a situation, freedom from a burden, cleaning house, sweeping away what is no longer needed. The Oracle's message is ever feel so bogged down with emotional gunk that you can't think straight? Could you be surrounded by physical clutter in your home also? Too much work, overwhelmed, time to clean house. Every item out of place natters away at you. Every unresolved resentment, every comparison to others that leads to a sense of lack takes up an energetic space. Every unpaid bill just adds up to an unnecessary feeling of being overwhelmed. Now is the time to, feel, to free yourself by energetically cleaning house. Just do it, make room for the miracles that are lining up for you. For relationship, time to clear the air, take a look at your side of the street, and say what's on your mind. Sweep away the old stuff so that a spring breeze can flow through the new energy. It's the perfect time to do an inventory of your, dynam of your dynamics and see what's yours and what's not yours to clean up the relationship. Take ownership, in other words. Everyone brings some baggage. Sort through what you brought with you and let go of what is no longer needed. Become un unencumbered and your relationship will flourish. Prosperity message is simple things like opening your mail, paying bills, sorting out your timetable, making lists, and getting organized is what this symbol means when it, it comes to your work. Make time for yourself, too. This card is a sign that you may be overburdened and overwhelmed. It's okay to say no. You'll prosper even more if you do. There you go, Libra. Very good message. Um, basically, take a look at what part you, you played in this. Um, see what went wrong. <laughs> And then you learn, see what you learn, what's your lesson here. And uh, yeah, hopefully, if you want to get back to the other relationship prior to that, hopefully you do. Hopefully you're able to heal that with your prior person and move on. So hopefully you like the read. And until next time, I'll see you later. Later, Libra. Bye-bye.